Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Subtle Takes. We take you fishing with us all across the beautiful state of Colorado. Well, we did it again. We snuck across the state border. This time we're in Utah. James and I decided to make a little three-day trip up to the Green River um, in Dutch John, Utah. Um, it's about a six and a half hour drive from where we live. We had to come over a couple of crazy mountain passes in the snow. And on top of it all, we decided that uh, we would uh, bring our one-man pontoon boats, which made the uh, trip a little more interesting here. Um, coming across those passes, but it's a uh, it's the uh, late part of March. In fact, we just are on the equinox here um, Spring is upon us, but it still feels like winter here in Dutch John They had a cold snap and snow come through so we're not sure what that's gonna do to the fishing But uh, our plan is to fish here around the little hole area for uh, a couple of days and then take one day and actually uh, drift the uh, A section, the upper section, in our pontoon boat. So we've never done this before. I've only been here one other time. Um, it's kind of a dry fly factory, uh, a lot of midges. So we'll kind of see what uh, see what's what here. Um, just want to thank everyone for subscribing so far. It uh, means a lot to us when we see people come on board and uh, like to share in what we do. So we'll see how this goes. Again, we've never been here and done this particular um, type of fishing before here on the green and we're pretty excited. So um, thanks for joining us and we'll uh, talk a little more about rigs and stuff like that and see if we have some success and we'll see you out there on the water.
So we've had, honestly, 90% of our success this trip um, at the upper end of the B section, right uh, below Little Hole. Um, it's a boat ramp takeout for the uh, A section drift. And uh, we've, been, we've been nymphing, but we've caught a lot of fish on dry flies too. I'm not a lot of fish. The key is every single fish that we've caught has been 18, 19 inches and just completely stacked. Uh, they're just hard fighting fish. I just had a fish take me, you know, 30, 40 yards downstream. Partly it's because we're fishing 6X and size 22 flies, but it's they're just very, very healthy. Um, and the brown trout eat dry flies here, which is just amazing. So even though uh, we haven't had necessarily as much success as we normally do in terms of numbers, I gotta tell you, the fish quality here stacks up to any place I've ever fished in my life. Um, just consistent. So our nymph rig has been something like this today. And, and for most of the trip, um, we've got a uh, number one split shot. I think a BB might also be appropriate at times. And then we've got the next fly is the fly we've experimented a lot with. Um, I'm running about uh, 16 inches between my weight and my first fly here. And the first fly that I have on right now is a really slim body um, Betis Emerger, size 18. Um, I've tried gray soft tackles in 18s and 20s, caught one fish on one. Uh, we have not had a lot of success on the top fly. And we've tried a lot of the things, even some uh, flies that they tie here. Um, but this is what we've been having. Our, our money's been made here on this particular fly. Just a size 22. Let's see if I can get a better shot of that. Size 22. Uh, a black midge. It could be a, a zebra midge. This one's a tube midge. Um, doesn't really matter. We're fishing uh, five and six X fluoro on our nymph rigs, and we've been fishing uh, five and six X fluoro or uh, mono on our uh, dry dropper rigs. So that's kind of flies here. Small indicator, um, running about seven feet deep. When you nymph, just find the slower water. Any kind of a, a little pocket in the water is, is your target. So that's how we've been fishing it here, and we've had quite a big success uh, nymphing in this lower section. Again, not so much in the canyon. We had a rough day there, but down low down here, this has been worth the trip. We're back on the water, maybe hook up with a few more.
right, we're going to sign off here from the banks of the Green River in Dutch John, Utah. It's been a great trip. Um, most of our fishing was done around little hole, the Little Hole area, which is at the top of the B section. And um, we, uh, we fished it pretty well, we thought. It, it produced nicely. Lots of dry fly action, nymphing, quality fish, all of them, you know, 16 to 19 inches and fought like crazy. So all you could ask for. Um, we did float uh, the, uh, the A section um, for a full day. Did not do well. Um, got the old skunk, which is kind of embarrassing for the Green River, but we did. Um, need to uh, make some adjustments on how we fish from our pontoon boats here. It's not really a wade fishery in the canyon. Didn't know that. And we weren't really prepared to fish from our boat the way you have to. So we learned, but I'll tell you, amazing scenery. Great float. Highly recommend it if for no other reason to see that. So, um, yeah, great time here. Thanks for joining us. I uh, hope you're uh, uh, enjoying watching this as much as we're enjoying doing it. And a uh, couple things here. Pinch your barbs, catch and release. I think it really helps out. So do our part, and we'll all have better fishing, I think. Um, if you want to check out one of your playlists of some later seasons or episodes, click on one of these boxes here, and it'll take you there. All right, so uh, thanks for joining us, and until next time, well, I guess we'll uh, see you on the water. Catch and release if you can. Um, it's it's a... Put your pants up. This is my first layer of long down small.